C I E T N C E R T presents audio book of mathematics for class 6 chapter 7 fractions page 141 part 2 exercise 7.2 1 draw number lines and locate the points on them a half 1 fourth 3 fourth 4 upon 4 b 1 8 2 8 3 8 7 8 c 2 fifth 3 fifth 8 upon 5 4 fifth 2 express the following as mixed fractions a 20 upon 3 b 11 upon 5 c 17 upon 7 d 28 upon 5 e 19 upon 6 f 35 upon 9 3 express the following as improper fractions a 7 3 upon 4 b 5 6 upon 7 c 2 5 upon 6 d 10 3 upon 5 e 9 3 upon 7 f 8 4 upon 9 page 142 7.6 Equivalent Fractions Look at all these representations of fraction. Figure 7.10 These fractions are half, two-fourth, three-sixth representing the parts taken from the total number of parts. If we place the pictorial representation of one over the other, they are found to be equal. Do you agree? Try these. 1. Are 1 third and 2 seventh, 2 fifth and 2 seventh, 2 ninth and 6 twenty seventh equivalent? Give reason. 2. Give example of 4 equivalent fractions. 3. Identify the fractions in each. Are these fractions equivalent? These fractions are called equivalent fractions. Think of three more fractions that are equivalent to the above fractions. Understanding equivalent fractions. Half, two-fourth, three-sixth, all the way up to thirty-six upon seventy-two are all equivalent fractions. They represent the same part of a whole. Think, discuss and write. Why do the equivalent fractions represent the same part of a whole? How can we obtain one from the other? We note half is equal to two fourth is equal to one multiplied by two divided by two multiplied by two. Similarly, half is equal to three sixth is equal to one multiplied by three divided by two multiplied by three, which is equal to half, and half is equal to four eighth, which is equal to 1 multiplied by 4 divided by 2 multiplied by 4. Page 143 To find an equivalent fraction of a given fraction, you may multiply both the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction by the same number. Rajni says that equivalent fractions of 1 third are 1 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 2 equal to 2 sixth. 1 multiplied by 3 divided by 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 ninth. 1 multiplied by 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 4 equal to 4 twelfth, and many more. Do you agree with her? Explain. Try these. 1. Find 5 equivalent fractions of each of the following. 1. 2 third, 2. 1 fifth, 3. 3 fifth, 4. 5 ninth. Another way. Is there any other way to obtain equivalent fractions? Look at figure 7.11. 4 sixth is shaded here. 2 third is shaded here. These include equal number of shaded things. That is, 4 sixth equal to 2 third equal to 4 divided by 2 divided by 6 divided by 2. 
To find an equivalent fraction, we may divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. One equivalent fraction of 12 15th is 12 divided by 3 divided by 15 divided by 3 equal to 4 fifth. Can you find an equivalent fraction of 9 15th having denominator 5? Example 3. Find the equivalent fraction of 2 fifth with numerator 6. Solution. We know 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. This means we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3 to get the equivalent fraction. Page 144. Hence, 2 fifths equal to 2 multiplied by 3 divided by 5 multiplied by 3 equal to 6 fifteenth. 6 fifteenth is the required equivalent fraction. Can you show this pictorially? Example 4. Find the equivalent fraction of 15 upon 35 with denominator 7. Solution. We have 15 upon 35 equal to dash upon 7. We observe the denominator and find 35 divided by 5 equal to 7. We therefore divide both the numerator and the denominator of 15 upon 35 by 5. Thus, 15 upon 35 equal to 15 divided by 5 divided by 35 divided by 5 equal to 3 seventh. An interesting fact. Let us now note an interesting fact about equivalent fractions. For this, complete the given table. The first two rows have already been completed for you. The columns of the table are equivalent fractions, product of the numerator of the first and the denominator of the second, product of the numerator of the second and the denominator of the first. Are the products equal? One third is equal to three ninth. One multiplied by nine is equal to nine. Three multiplied by three is equal to nine. Yes. Four fifth is equal to twenty eight upon thirty five. Four multiplied by thirty five is equal to one forty. Five multiplied by twenty eight is equal to one hundred forty. Yes. One fourth is equal to four upon sixteen. Dash, dash, dash. Two third is equal to ten upon fifteen. Dash, dash, dash. Three seventh is equal to twenty four upon fifty six. Dash, dash, dash. What do we infer? The product of the numerator of the first and the denominator of the second is equal to the product of denominator of the first and the numerator of the second in all these cases. These two products are called cross products. Work out the cross products for other pairs of equivalent fractions. Do you find any pair of fractions for which cross products are not equal? This rule is helpful in finding equivalent fractions. Page 145 Example 5 Find the equivalent fraction of 2 ninth with denominator 63. Solution. We have 2 ninth is equal to dash upon 63. For this we should have 9 multiplied by dash is equal to 2 multiplied by 63. But 63 is equal to 7 multiplied by 9. So 9 multiplied by dash is equal to 2 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 9 equal to 14 multiplied by 9 equal to 9 multiplied by 14 or 9 multiplied by dash is equal to 9 multiplied by 14. By comparison, dash is equal to 14. Therefore, 2 ninth is equal to 14 upon 63. 7.7 7. Simplest form of a fraction Given the fraction 36 upon 54, let us try to get an equivalent fraction in which the numerator and the denominator have no common factor except 1. How do we do it? We see that both 36 and 54 are divisible by 2. 36 upon 54 is equal to 36 divided by 2 divided by 54 divided by 2 equal to 
18 upon 27. But 18 and 27 also have common factors other than 1. The common factors are 1, 3, 9. The highest is 9. Therefore, 18 upon 27 is equal to 18 divided by 9 divided by 27 divided by 9 equal to 2 third. Now, 2 and 3 have no common factor except 1. We say that the fraction 2 third is in the simplest form. A fraction is said to be in the simplest or lowest form if its numerator and denominator have no common factor except 1. A game. The equivalent fractions given here are quite interesting. Each one of them uses all the digits from 1 to 9 once. 2 sixth is equal to 3 ninth is equal to 58 upon 174. 2 fourth is equal to 3 sixth is equal to 79 upon 158. Try to find two more such equivalent fractions. The shortest way. The shortest way to find the equivalent fraction in the simplest form is to find the HCF of the numerator and denominator and then divide both of them by the HCF. Page 146. Consider 36 upon 24. The HCF of 36 and 24 is 12. Therefore, 36 upon 24 is equal to 36 divided by 12 divided by 24 divided by 12 is equal to 3 upon 2. The fraction 3 upon 2 is in the lowest form. Thus, HCF helps us to reduce a fraction to its lowest form. Try these. 1. Write the simplest form of 1. 15 upon 75 2. 16 upon 72 3. 17 upon 51 4. 42 upon 28 5. 80 upon 24 2. Is 49 upon 64 in its simplest form? Exercise 7.3 1. Write the fractions. Are all these fractions equivalent? We have 4 figures in part A and 5 figures in part B. 2. Write the fractions and pair up the equivalent fractions from each row. We have two rows of five figures each. Page 147. 3. Replace dash in each of the following by the correct number. A. 2 seventh is equal to 8 upon dash. B. 5 eighth is equal to 10 upon dash. C. 3 fifth is equal to dash upon 20. D. 45 upon 60 is equal to 15 upon dash. E. 18 upon 24 is equal to dash upon 4. 4. Find the equivalent fraction of 3 fifth having A. Denominator 20 B. Numerator 9 C. Denominator 30 D. Numerator 27 5. Find the equivalent fraction of 36 upon 48 with A. Numerator 9 B. Denominator 4 6. Check whether the given fractions are equivalent. A. 5 ninth, 30 upon 54 B. 3 tenth, 12 upon 50 C. 7 thirteenth, 5 eleventh 7. Reduce the following fractions to simplest form. A. 48 upon 60 B. 150 upon 60 C. 84 upon 98 D. 12 upon 52 E. 7 upon 28 8. Ramesh had 20 pencils. Shilu had 50 pencils. And Jamal had 80 pencils. After 4 months, Ramesh used up 10 pencils. Shilu used up 25 pencils. And Jamal used up 40 pencils. What fraction did each use up? Check if each has used up an equal fraction of her or his pencils. 9. Match the equivalent fractions and write two more for each. 1. 250 upon 400 2. 180 upon 200 
3. 660 upon 990. 4. 180 upon 360. 5. 220 upon 550. Choices are A. Two third. B. Two fifth. C. Half. D. Five eighth. E. Nine tenth. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.